Hello, I think we're recording. Welcome to tutorial 15, um, which reminds me, let's um, save the code. This is uh, tutorial 14 code. Let's uh, save this as uh, uh, tutorial 15. So save as, where are we? Mind the mining system accidentally there? Whoops, I clicked on the wrong tab. Sorry, go back into this guy. And then save as. Um, tutorial 15, there we go, save, and then I can change the text at the top as well so we know where we are. Right, um, I don't have much time. Work is unbelievably busy. I apologise I haven't been able to uh, publish a, a video recently. Um, but I'm going to try to do something, maybe 20 minutes, something like that. Um, different material types and layers. Uh, the axe animation. Oh, I forgot about the save file. I've forgotten, I'm very sorry, I'll have to look, when I look at this, let's say if our current terrain is the, um, when I look at that in possibly the next video, um, I'll mention who left the comment. I like to thank people who, you know, specifically by name who left the, uh, the comments there. Right, axe animation. Let's go and do that. Talking of people who leave comments, have I got, yes, um, Anoush, oh Anoush. He has done um, some axe animation stuff already. Let's go and use Anusha's stuff. Um, so I think he's got it in this text file. Will that open here? Oh, there we go. Um, I don't know if you can see that. So if build mode equals one, okay, so we're in build mode, and key equals left mouse down, build, oh right, so here it is. He's changing the axe position. Um, else if build mode is 1 and right mouse down, axe position is that one, else the axe position goes back to uh, the standard position. Okay, so let's just try taking out, yeah, these, um, these lines about the axe's position. So it looks like Anusha is cleverly creating like an illusion of animation by just changing quickly the axe position. Seems like a good idea. Let's try it. Um, so in input, um, where are we? Yeah, if we're update. Oh no, so this will be in the mining system, won't it? Because we now go to, yeah, the mining system's key inputs are dealt in in Varch, <laughs> which I've, um, okay, it's not badly named. It made me laugh. I like it, Varch. Um, but it, if, if someone else was reading this, they're like, what on earth is Varch? It doesn't make any sense. Although, I think we've commented at the top somewhere. Um, where's Varch? Ah! Oh, here we go. There we go. Round line 118. We've got Anoush is our cave system, which we're not really using anymore. Um, solar is our tree system. And then Varch is our mining system. So there we go, you see? It's all commented and all clear. You just have to go and uh, read through there. Anyway, we need to go to the mining system and we need to find the input function. There we go. So if we're, yeah, if we're in build mode with left mouse, we want to do that, axe position. So we need to be able to access the axe. Um, which we can't yet do so let's um, introduce the at the axe in the initialization um, I feel like I'm doing something bad here I'm <laughs> creating lots and lots and lots of uh, parameters that must be passed in that means we have to make changes elsewhere let's just do that um, I guess I'll do it after the subject and then say axe and then we can say um, yeah after the subject here we can say this dot axe equals underscore axe since I used an underscore up here which I usually do just to show that these are parameters and these are the, the member variables you don't have to do that I don't think it's a widespread convention. I think 
you know, like Dan Schiffman does it. And things like that. Anyway, um, for JavaScript. Right. So now back in in here, when we yeah go to line around 118, when we create varch after the subject, we've got to pass in the axe. Um, now the axe predictably doesn't exist yet. I probably made it down the bottom. There we go. Our axe. So I can just copy that with Control. Or I'm on a Mac, so Command X, Control X, Command X, and then we'll just go and plonk those lines above uh, where we've um, created our mining system object, which we call Varch. Um, yeah, it looks like we're making objects up here. We make all, all our our subsets, so we'll just do it underneath the subsets. There we go. Um, save that and um, save our mining system. And then I just need to go back to input, don't I? And go to this dot axe position equals vec3. So it looks like we don't have access to vec3. Um, was that a Cena's type? I don't know if um, Anoush has got that from Ursina or from somewhere else. Let's just try VEC3. Okay, it might be working. <laughs> Let's just go down to. Have I gone past input already? Okay, there's input. Okay, VEC3 looks nice now. So we just had to include that, import that um, object class uh, from a Cena. There we go. And let's go back to um, Anoush's, oh, Anoush's code. And so if we press the right mouse button, so we're doing some mining, and it wants to be this position. I hope Anoush's positions like his original position is the same as mine. Um, so again, we need this dot axe position. Vec3 will be fine this time because we've already included it. Um, and then finally, um, what did Anoush do? Just else. So if we're, in other words, if we're in build mode one and pressing something that's not left mouse or right mouse, then it'll the, the act should go back to this default position, or if we're in build mode minus one, i.e. not in build mode, then um, the axe will return to the default position. So I'll add that in the comments. So here I can say else um, colon um, this dot axe position should be the default position. And I'll just add that little comment, um, i.e. Um, return at to default position if not in build mode. That's not quite right because we could be in build mode and as I say press a different button or something and then it will return. Um, okay, so let's try and run this. Um, I've been going eight minutes. That's pretty good. Well, it'll actually be good if there are no bugs. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, talking of bugs, yeah, at the start, you know how it's really juddery? Maybe that's, a, I say, a little thing we could try and sort out. It'll, it'll, since I've said that, it'll be a really big, big issue. Um, oh, and our seeds are random. I think 105, was that really good? Was that about a week ago when I made that? Vincent's now flying on this seed. Yeah, we have random seeds. Um, to make it a bit more interesting. Right, anyway, without further ado, let's um, try and do some uh, mining and building and things. So, okay. Oh, right. Um, okay, so it, it moves there, and it does look like, Anoush, well done, it does look like we've created like some animation. Um, and if I, as long as I'm, I, I hit another key really quickly, then it moves back again. Um, what about mining? Uh, 
Oh, that's kind of the same, isn't it? Okay, that's the same. It's the same position. I never realised when I was pasting the uh, the uh, the code. Okay, so one thing, yeah, we do want to improve, and I think Anoush, actually, you suggested this, is we want it to move back um, a little bit quicker. I've just noticed that we sorted out this bug, um, i.e., when I'm when I'm mining blocks that are built blocks, I shouldn't get the uh, blocks spawning around it to create the cave walls. And I'm sure during last video we had that working because we 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 changed the dictionary entry um, to something like B or built block and if I so so if we're trying to mine a built block so we detect that this is a built block and then if it detects it's a built block it shouldn't spawn those that's something I want to look at um, also dropping when we first drop just to um, um, be less glitchy we should try something out okay um, right so let's escape let's just focus on the the animation the other thing I thought we could do, very different from Anoush's idea, was just use the animations that are inbuilt for um, for Asina, and then we'd get some like smooth like movement, and it would kind of return to where it was before, I think, or we can we we can return it to where we want, where we wanted it. Um, Another thing we could do, maybe with Anoush's um, existing system, is move move um, the code from, i.e., the axe position code, from input, and move it into. Have we got an update function in? I'm sure we will have in our mining system. Uh, Oh, maybe, no, we should do, because our BTE, our build tool entity, should be, um, should be handled by the mining system, um, which I can't find. Let's have a look. Oh, okay, so build tool. This is called from the main update loop. So this is our uh, our update function. So it's quite short. So at the moment, it's just sorting out where the build tool entity is. Um, so what we could do is in here, ask if the held keys are the mouse left or right. If they are, move it to Anusha's positions. If not, then move it back to the default position. Um, we could also just move it back to the default position after every second or so. We could have like a little timer in there saying if enough time has elapsed, then uh, just move it back to the, the default position. Um, I want to have a go with the. I want to have a go with the animation. Idea. So let's just delete um, Anusha's code for the moment. Ah, I can just comment this out actually, not delete the whole thing. I did comment, oh, you know what? I can just comment that out, sorry. So we can keep Anusha's stuff there when we want, if, if we want to, like. Um, look at that again um, and we have still got hold of the axe ah that might be important anyway so we'll keep yeah the fact that we pass in the axe will still be useful so let's just go to uh, the Ursina cheat sheet uh, which is on the ursinaengine.org website so it's um, if you haven't seen this before um, I've only I've done it in a few of my other previous videos um, 
for making Minecraft with Python using Ursina, created by Petter Amlan. Um, and we can use it. There's no search function on here, but using the uh, kind of the contents down the left, you can like spot likely candidates for what you're trying to do. Um, so I want to find animation. So that might be in models and things like that. But let's just scroll up. I've got a feeling it will have its own. Well, there's animation and animator, its own kind of section. Right, let's have a look. Oh, this is animating a sprite. So we want to animate um, a mo an entity. Um, like shake. Yeah, this does not look like what we want. Ah, let's go to then entity. And it might be a, a behavior attached to the entity class. Ah, here are the behaviors. There we go. Yeah, we've got animate. We'll just zoom in so you can see this. So we've got animate. And we've got some quite complicated parameters here. Name, value, duration, that kind of makes sense for how long the animation will be. Delay, so wait until it begins. Curve might be its kind of like trajectory. In exponent, I'm not sure what this means, we'll have to look this up. Uh, loop, that might be handy if we wanted it to go over and over and over again. Uh, resolution, not to, that might be to do with if we have essentially keyframes resolution but I don't know if that's uh, that's the case interrupt kill time step none auto destroy true ah so the auto destroy not to the entity I'm sure well I'm not sure maybe that would be useful for like projectiles after they've been animated then destroy it I presumed it would mean the animation itself would be destroyed but I don't know um maybe just ah maybe just using Anusha's Positions. We could like animate the position. Um, well, let's shake, which I've used before. Let's just have a look what we've got in the example code down here. Um, self animate X. What is that? Oh, using that. I don't understand how that works. Um, oh, animate. Sorry, that must be on what um, axis it's being animated. So let's try, let's just go and grab animate position and see what we can do with that. So we'll do this in, um, yeah, so we're in the mining system. We'll go down to input and just where Anoush put, let's go for if we're mining something Let's say um, this axe dot animate position value. I'm not getting any help with that. Um, I presume it would be a vector three position. <laughs> so let's just drop in that. It seems to have accepted it. Oh, but I need to write. Do I need to write value equals value equals? Let's try that. Value equals vector 3 there, duration 0.1, and we don't need any keyword arguments because I don't know it yet. Okay, and let's just put that on another line so we can see what's going on. So I want the duration to be that. Right, let's go and see what that looks like. And we're almost at 20 minutes, which I think is all the time I'm going to have. So it would be really nice <laughs> if this kind of worked and then even if it's terrible, you and I can kind of work on it off camera. Right, right click. Oh, I'm not in build mode. Let's try that again. <laughs> I thought, oh, there we go. So it is animating. It is animating. And it moved across to the left. Um, 
but now we're, we we kind of got to the to the point where Anush got um, where it's not moving back. Um, so we need to move you back somehow. Ah, can we? I need to get access really to um, these parameters to kind of like move. To kind of like loop back to where you were before. So maybe if we go to the entity um, code itself. <coughs> Excuse me. So here we are behind the scenes in Petter Amland and others, these other contributors. We've got Petter Amland, Tom Fredrickson and Christian Klaus, um, and presumably all or have contributed to this code. And so we're going to look for um, the animating functions and um, see if we can work out what we're looking for. In fact, I might just pause the video, <laughs> so you're not just watching a guy on the internet scrolling through code, and once I've found it, I'll come back. See you in a moment. Welcome back, hello. Um, so I found the animation code, so it's around lines 1008, um, <clears throat> um, which I have not looked at before, hence my not knowing really how to use them. I think it, looking through them, I think shake might be the the quickest solution for us because we've got a direction here. We can just maybe move it left, uh, move our uh, or make it make our axe look as though it is moving left, and it should be returned to the original position. We're not actually changing its position. So um, this dot axe, we're back in the mining system now, back in. Um, the input function, and if I'm mining, I build mode is one, and my rouse, uh, right mouse is up. My rouse. I'm going to go to axe shake, and now I don't have any help. So good job I've got this here. So duration is we'll just put duration equals 0.2. So it's going to copy the defaults. Um, magnitude we'll go for two. That'd be embarrassing if it's normalized, i.e. I can't go beyond one. Magnitude equals two. Um, speed will leave. Oh, why did I, sorry. If the, the default's already 0 0.2, so I didn't need to put that in again because it'll be, <laughs> it'll just take the default. I'm just worrying about the direction. That's all I need to worry about. Um, although I'll probably fiddle around with the magnitudes and duration, so I can leave them in there. That's probably, hopefully, what I was thinking in the back of my head. Right, um, and then direction equals, and then we need this tuple. So presumably this, this will be x and y. Um, so we just want to shake um, minus 1 and oh, maybe a little bit of shaking up and down. So I'll try 1. Um, right, let's go and <laughs> try that. And we're just under 25 minutes. That might be a nice, a nice time. And uh, you may never see this video because I may think I'm, no, I'm, I'm now thinking: Is this really that useful for people to watch? Twenty-five minutes to really do nothing um, useful with the axe. So anyway, build mode is on. Let's try mining. And our axe is not shaking. Oh, it did shake. Oh, it does. And you know what? Kind of looks pretty good. Kind of looks pretty good. So let's just increase the, the magnitude and the duration. And we might have um, a decent system. Let's just go for a whole second. Magnitude 
seven, and then I should only change one of those um, variables at a time, really. Let's just see what what this does, and end the video there. Okay. Go into build mode and then mine. Ah! <laughs> yes, I I quite like that. <laughs> I think <laughs> it looks like a crazy rabbit eating, and, and and my face. I'm really sorry. It's kind of like covering um, the screen. Can I actually move my face? Can I? No, I can't move my face, so I just tried to pause. Um, let's run again. No, now I'm in the mining system, so it won't run. Oh, I wasn't in the mining system. Fantastic. Okay. So what do we need to do? Oh, it must have moved. Actually, look how high it is. And then it was definitely lower than that, so maybe it... Or is it depending on my orientation? So what I'm thinking is maybe the shake animation does leave it in like a random position, i.e. wherever it stops shaking. Although it kind of looks like it returns to the same position. So I don't know how my face was covering it before. I'm very confused. I think it must be random. Anyway, is this just kind of rubbish? <laughs> or is it kind of good? <laughs> I think it's quite, it's got potential. I think the um, the magnitude is okay. But the duration is like way too long. So let's just 0.3. Um, one more, one more try. And we'll leave it. Um, and then I've got to decide, is this video worth publishing? Because it's half an hour. And really, what we've what I've done, if I had prepared it, you know, I could show you that, that one line of code in about, or in about a minute. So that looks kind of good. It does feel like I'm kind of like attacking the ground now. <laughs> I do want to move, move it to kind of where Anoush said, like the mid middle of the screen. I think that would be kind of cool. And then a little timer to kind of move it back. But I'm happy to kind of leave that like this. It's kind of like a gesture towards doing something. Okay, so there we go. We've got a little bit of axe animation. I'm going to leave things like this, and then I've got to decide whether to actually publish this, this video. So I might watch it back and see. Um, I guess we did look on the GitHub and we looked behind the scenes. Mm, I don't know. Okay, thank you very much for watching if I do release this, and I'll see you in the next video where we'll do something a bit more exciting. Biomes, maybe saving the file, things like that. Um, and any other requests that may come up, I'll have a look in the comments. Thank you again uh, for watching. Goodbye.